But ain't nothing like a fist full of cash or a blitz full of the hash that twists like a moustache. From end to end, spread it like a rash. From talking through your walkman or at your disco bash. Give me the Tim Rumpel, still skin brown. A metal face mask with a built in frown. A mic to tilt down, a hundred thousand pounds. And see how kilt sound like spilt milk clown. Cocoa butter on a very ashy day, fam. Ray Bans out on the islands of K Man. Or I break it down for the layman. Band so. We're now recording. So, any uh, awful things that you have to say about people, stop. Because I was just saying how much I hate... Uh, I hate Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, we hate we're, we're that's just talking about, we're, we're talking about, about how much we hate Hitler, which is H. usually a normal... That's a good thing. Yeah, we hate him. Yeah, we hate that we're guy. Like, that guy ruined... Fuck that guy. The Olympics. Yes, he did. He fixed uh, the Germany Olympics. Jesse Owens beat him. Yeah. Quit, right? Jesse Owens. Was it Jesse Owens? He's the runner. Yeah, there was the runner. but then, Black runner. Beat yeah. the fucking elite German guy. Yeah. Let me just, uh, so we're not being totally. Jamie is pulling that up right in the, this is a first, uh, in Jesse the first Owens. minute. Jesse Owens. Yep. Jesse Cleveland Owens. American track and field athlete. Beat the elite beat the German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was supposed to win. And high on meth. H, uh, uh, H-Dog was Herbertend. just like. They cannot win. <laughs> like, Shiza. Shiza. You know, he was pissed about that. Yeah. yeah that caught, that got under his skin. <laughs> it did. That's what caused World War II. Yeah. That's actually, that was the, that was the, the straw. What is it? That was the catalyst for World War II. Jesse Owens beating the, yeah. Shiza. They will not outrun us. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that would be, uh, that would be a shame if that That'd was be a shame. did it. But, um. It wasn't. Was he Jewish? I don't think so. No. Then that would have been really the nail. In the yeah, that would have been the nail in the coffin. Secretly, that's like a that's a late night television a conspiracy theory. Beats us in the race? No. <laughs> yeah, no, he'd be uh, he'd be super choked. It's episode yeah. fucking four. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Budlache. Cheers. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I think we filmed uh, we filmed about a week ago. Yep. Um, it's been a pretty uh, eventful week. How's your week been, Pat? Oh, I went to the Toronto Metro Zoo. You went to the Big Boy Zoo. Yeah. Woo. I brought my son there. It was a great. It was honestly, it was so cool because. Saw he some was, lions. He was, yeah, he was really excited. Um, I was a little choked. We, we pay, like, you, you pay full price or whatever to get in. And, yeah. But there was a lot of exhibits yeah. closed. Yeah. And then also, uh, it, it was. It wasn't actually. It wasn't too hot. It was good. The Canadian exhibit. I didn't. We don't. We don't need to go look at Canada. Why do they have a Canadian animal exhibit in a fucking Canadian zoo? Oh, That's just know. like. I guess it's city, and we don't moose, think into bear. S- there was a moose at the zoo. No. Oh. Or there might have been, but it was hidden. Like God damn. Anything. I'm like. I mean, they have so many. I, I'm. I'm okay with them having a fucking African lion, but yeah. I'm like a moose. A moose. What? So so the fucking thing that really burnt my asshole that day yeah. was Douglas had there there's your Canadian, son burnt your asshole? Yeah, there the yeah, Douglas? No, there was there was <laughs> Canadian geese kind of like all throughout the park. Yeah. Were they like wild or like Yeah, wild. They were like just yeah, eating yeah. garbage and stuff. Yeah, like, like seagulls. Like they were just they were like big seagulls. Yeah. And Dougie's like just wants to chase them. So like, go for it. Like I'm like, he's having fun, he's laughing. Yeah. And up walks this woman with her two kids. Yeah. Her two kids see Douglas having fun, ripping around after these uh, geese. Yeah. And so they want to get into the fun. And I'm like, oh, cool. But she then looks at me, looks at her kids, and she goes, guys, it's not nice to chase the geese. Oh, fuck you. I'm like, I legit. Oh. That's been doing that a lot. Yeah, that's crazy. We got a ghost in the house. But I legit dude. said to, I wanted to say to her, I was like, "You're at a fucking zoo." Well, kids, some parents have fun, or sorry, some kids have fun parents. Uh, oh, I, I just, I like, I just, it blew my mind that she was taking the moral high ground, going, "Don't chase the geese. It's not nice." You're at a fucking zoo where they keep tigers in twelve by twelve pens, and I mean. 
She's never been attacked by a geese. Oh, she's a... Yeah, you're... you're, you're exactly. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go on your point for a second there. You were at a zoo. A zoo. You literally... There's penguins here. We're in Toronto, Ontario, Dude, Canada. Why the fuck is there penguins here? I, that's my point. It's like it's like, like you're trying to like openly get me in trouble as a parent because my kid is chasing the geese around. Yeah. You're at the fucking zoo, lady. You paid to come see caged animals. Like, don't... Like, you're the better person yeah. here. Like, yeah, you're yeah, better yeah. because my well, son... Well, no, no, might... no. Honey, honey, we don't chase the geese. It's we go not... pay $4 for sunflower Dude. seeds, and we feed the caged geese. It's not... That's nice. the it's just... that's the correct way to do it. The whole... Her whole fucking uh, demeanor when she did it. Yeah. I've never, ever wanted... She, to like, looked at you, too. She was like... Up. I we honey. Oh, she did. She did. I'm like, oh, he's trying to get dinner. Like I, she uh, squared up with you oh, and said, "Dude, I could give two fucks what her name." Like I just, yeah, that's nuts. But it was fun. It was a good. Yeah. Time. What 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 are the good things about the zoo? What was your favorite animal to see besides that girl trying to out more um, moral you? I like the orangutans, and uh, you are an orangutan. You just that's saw that's them, and you were like, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Brother, brother, tiny orange monkeys. There are not monkeys. They're just like little primate species. They yeah. look like the size of a, uh, like a marmot or a weasel, kind of. They're yeah, like just tiny little guys. Yeah, like spider monkeys, but not. Uh, but the other highlight was so you know no nap. Dougie's a champ through the whole trip. Like, yeah. really well, listened well, did yeah. really good. So we wanted to reward him to go to the gift shop. So we, we walk in the gift shop. I go in. It's a fucking, yeah. there's a thousand people in there. So I, I leave. Yeah. So Christy had, Dougie had pulled out five different stuffies. Yeah. And Christy goes, all right, buddy, just choose one. Without hesitation, he chooses a little monkey and the yeah. rest go. And so we get back to the the wagon and we're heading towards the parking lot. We're parked yeah. out at E, way out. Yeah. That's pretty deep in the alphabet. And the, the whole way there. Illiterate folk. Yeah. It's, we're there. We're out yeah. there. And the whole way out, Christy's just like, he was so good in there. Like, he didn't fuss about the, like, there were so many toys. And la, la. Like, she's just yeah. praising our son. Yeah. We get to the car and start unloading him. He fucking shoved a parrot stuffed animal into the fucking wagon and stole a fucking parrot. So he had the so why he was so cool with, he was cool with the monkey because yeah, he, he had one in the barrel. Yeah, because he as knew well. he had two stuff. Your son stole a stuffed animal. And it was so funny because Chris was like, he's the best. I'm he's like, so good. Our son's he's a fucking so criminal. He's Dude, a fucking criminal. He was he was good because he knew he was doing elite yeah. smart. Yeah, you fooled him. Fooled, yeah, you definitely got a good kid on your hands, but my God, dude. Stole. The Toronto Zoo is a terrible corporation, so it's like, dude, we, if we're on like levels of shoplifting, he didn't steal anything. There. It's I like, think it was huh? they stole from us. Yeah, you guys paid $800 for your day at the zoo. It was, it was, it, well, it was a gift from Grandma. It was wonderful, but the, 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 the main thing was... We were parked at E. Yeah. And there was no way I was walking. Up. No way you're driving. Or you, you drive the car back and you go, Dougie, you bring it back. You have to bring back the parrot. You have to bring back the parrot it, and it, pay for what you did. It was awesome. I wasn't even mad. I don't even care. I wouldn't be mad. He loves it. He sleeps with it every night. No, And you didn't have to pay for it. The tractor toy you got him? He's, Does he like that? He's kind of scared of it, I think. I don't really? know if he's scared. He's just he he. Your son is scared of the toy that I got him. I don't know. He, he seemed so. He liked it so much when I gave it to him. He's good at like faking it. I that think. fucker. He's he, a little thief, dude. Dude, he looked at uh, look that at thief. I hate him. He's a fucking idiot. He's a thief. Nine one one report. Douglas. <laughs> yeah. Dougie. He's two. He's two. He's an idiot. He doesn't like toys that Uncle Luke gets him. And uh, he steals parrots. I was like, "Do you want Mister Tractor in bed with you?" No, uh, yeah, no, he, no. Oh. oh, he's noticed the camera that I put in it. Yeah, <laughs> nanny cam. That's why. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Oh god damn! Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's funny. So that was my. That's a fun trip to last the zoo. Week big event. Do they have polar bears there? They do, but they were real hot. 
Obviously. They were like sweating it out. I think any fucking spot. All that the po- all the animals. Why is there a polar bear in Toronto? All dude? the animals were in the water. Oh god! Like, of like, course, like drowning themselves. Like <laughs> it was. Yeah, they they have to get helpers in to stop the animals from trying to Save commit them. suicide. Yeah, <laughs> the one bear was just sleeping in the corner in the shade. Obviously, yeah. The other one was like half submerged underwater. Yeah, and hating their not lives. Great angles. No, and then the wolves. Like it, was, it wasn't hot for us. Dude, but that's an Arctic creature. Arctic wolf, yeah. Why the fuck is an Arctic wolf? It, they, like, it's just... Or at least, like, if you're going to have them, make the fucking zoo... Climatized. Climatized. To, yeah. Cause, but because I, I remember all the penguins that used to be there. Yeah. None. None. No penguins. The Arctic, like, where the one zone where they had all the penguins, like, swimming. And, yeah. like, that's just Sliding polar down bear, shit. Just polar bears. Um, so it's it's cold enough for the polar bears, but it's not cold enough for penguins, or did they yeah, just fucking kill all the penguins? I think the penguins get sick. Like they get probably really, the the. I'm not even an animal rights activist. It's just fucking I logic. I, You're I, like I just I don't get the. It looks like to me. Yeah, and there's no shade at the zoo at Toronto Zoo, but it is. It looks <laughs> like you guys are not doing well with money. Yeah, probably because there's not. a lot of like dated, it's a rough climate for uh, like old zoos. old school like you click a button doesn't yeah. work ah, it didn't even didn't work even turn on click this button to learn more about our polar the, bears the Australasia uh, section it's like a big house you walk into time out they just combined Australia Australasia. and Asia Australia Asia in one section yeah, yeah it was uh the first. Four like windows that you look in to see animals. Australia, Australia, Asia, Australia, Asia. Oh my god! The, all the first four windows. They're running out of money because oh. they had an they had an Asia section and they had an Australia section. No, it's one. And they were running out, and some guy in the meeting was like, "We gotta combine them. What if we just combine both?" I mean, they're basically the same thing. It's the same thing. What do, what like, are we gonna call it? Australia, Asia. <laughs> it, that's what it's called. And the first four uh, That's ridiculous. animal th- viewing things uh, closed due to this, closed due to yeah. weather, clo- closed COVID-19. Closed, closed. I saw the, the one thing I wanted to see, which is my, like, kind of up there with my animals, the Komodo dragon. Yeah. It looked sick. He looked like a sad Komodo. He was white. Yeah. Like, you know, like, they're usually, like, dark black. Yeah. He might have been shedding, too. I don't know. But just, like, yeah. laying on a log, dying. Kill me. Like, like, I used to be a fucking murderous animal. I used to be the king of, like, whatever fucking jungle that I was a part of. Yeah, no. Like, literally a apex predator of my environment. Not anymore. He's and dead. now I jerk off for people to see. It's like, it's sad, dude. So I, yeah. I get, like... Zoos are depressing. They're not a fun place. Like, the tiger I got to see close... The one thing I will say is I've never seen a tiger that close before. Yeah. It was fucking big. Yeah, dude. Tigers they are huge. Are big. Yeah. Like way bigger than lions. Yeah. It was... I was shook. Lions are kind of like sexy. They got a little bit of like Lean. sleek they're leanness lean. to them. Like yeah. they're hunters. Tigers are fucking... Beef castles. <laughs> they're thick. Beef cakes. Girth. Like, yeah, girth, and dude. They Fat daddies. Jump. They can jump. Yeah. Like Michael And Jordan. tigers have always been cooler because the black and orange... Yeah. It beats. I think they're the king of the jungle. And the cool thing is, there's there's winter tigers, like snow leopards. Sn- no, no, like tigers that live in the snow. Oh shit! And they, oh, I forget what they're called, but they showed a picture, and they show you like you know they're like red and black and white stripes. Yeah. And you're like, well, that or orange and black. Uh, it'd be kind of weird in the snow to see them, but then they show it in yeah. like the thicket of not the, good uh, camouflage in, in the bush though. In the winter time, it'd be hard to see. You cannot fucking you could barely see it yeah you could barely you're dead yeah yeah it was uh instantly gone. It, but it was cool it was it, i still had fun because my son had fun yes and that was a that was a yes that was one of the three trips we wanted to do yeah. this summer done so. yeah so two more to go yeah we got ripley's yeah which i'm not i think they're closing that down you picked some like going at a business spot ripley's dude. aquarium Oh, in Toronto. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah, that. Okay. But then we, we also want to do the Brockville. Brock, where Aquatarium. Brockville. That sounds yeah, great. I'm becoming my... I'm, I'm happy Dougie's not going to remember a lot of yeah, these yeah. trips. 
Well, we it's because we don't know. Like he's kind of at a funny age where we want to go camping and stuff. Yeah. But you don't know if that's the move yet. The only way we guess we just try. Oh yeah, another big thing that happened last week. I'll tell you later. But um, Doug, you got a dirt bike. His grandpa bought him. A- are you are you dumb? You go. We don't know if he's old enough for camping. But he's got a dirt bike. <laughs> but ain't other news. My son got a dirt bike. Dude, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What type of dirt bike did your son get? Dude, it is, uh, I'm not going to lie, the coolest. My buddy's kid just got a dirt bike, and they took the photo at the dealership where they're like, and da-da-da, just got his dirt bike. Oh, yeah, that's sick, dude. It's a little Honda. Yeah, a little Honda. Fuck, dude. 100 cc's? Just 50. 50. Yeah, yeah I guess you're not getting a three-year-old. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. My buddy's kid got a dirt bike, and he took the photo at the dealership, and his feet are just dangling. He can't even touch the pedals yet. And they're like, congratulations to Great job. for buying his first dirt bike. It was cute. Yeah, yeah. It was cute. It's cute. Yeah. It's fine. It's good. Christy freaked. But of I think course. It's moms are always against the fun shit. It's their moms. It's their a moms. job. Yeah, exactly. It's my job to, when he has a broken arm, be like, I'll play defense yeah. on this one, buddy. That's what I will save you. I was, uh, as I was telling you, I went golfing to this morning. Nice. Yeah, right. Booked a, like, re- my, got a rain check for a day. Rebook to tea time, and they go. How does eight fifteen in the morning work for you? Great. And I was like, fine. Perfect. Like I'll take it. So I wake up at eight fifteen, and I golfed with. It was like two gentlemen that were in their sixties, and then just a kid. Yeah. Which it's always good going with a kid. Was it you? Did you know the kid? No. You didn't know the gentleman either? No clue. I was a single. Oh. My buddy backed out. We were supposed to go together. He backed out. Oh. So I'm like, I'm still going. It's a nice morning. Yeah. But didn't know that good at going with the kid because he's always shooting worse than you. Yeah, yeah. He's always doing worse. Yeah. Like, it's so good. I nice. need to bring a 12-year-old on every game you of golf playing, that I play. You were playing good then. Playing amazing, dude. Awesome. Compared to a 12-year-old, killing it. Awesome. Yeah. But... uh He's telling me, and he's talking to me about how he goes, I want to ride dirt bikes, but my mom won't let me. But then he's talking, and he's like, my older brother has a dirt bike, but she won't let me get a dirt bike. And I was like, that's unfair, that's, brother. Yeah, yeah, call that out. I was like, call that shit call out, dude. Out. I'm like, I, he, she's, that kid's going to go back and absolutely get like fucking sewered by his mom. Because he's going to be like, mom, I want a bike. Luke, the ra- the third, the random fourth. The guy at the golf course said, I should get a dirt yeah, bike. Yeah, I should get a dirt bike, too. And you know, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, like, I, shut up. I just set that kid up shut for up, failure. Shut up, Timmy. But I was like, dude. It is bullshit. You should do that, too. Like, it's just maybe. funny how moms are always against the cool shit. You should ask if it was a stepbrother, because maybe mm. she doesn't really care. I don't even know these she, fans. She, like, buys it's like, true. a real fast bike for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. of them. Yeah, secretly she's trying to fucking kill the stepkid. Oh. I never even thought of it from that angle. That's and it is a good it angle. Blood. Dude. She's like, yeah, get him to... Wait, how much? 450 cc's? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, is there something faster? You have a 600 cc ninja? Yeah, can let's I, get can, it. Can I put dirt bike tires on a, a, a fucking Ducati? <laughs> yeah, on a street bike? Like, <laughs> how do I get this to go faster? Yeah. And she goes, all right, and you're going to want to aim for the trees. Every time you lean into the trees right. when you're trying to get around them. It's actually like opposite. It's like flying. You want to go opposite yes. from what you want to go, right? Think about it. Think about it for a little bit. <laughs> my my buddy, uh, he a guy I work with dirt bikes, Yeah, he took a tree in the shoulder yeah. last week. Ooh. My friends at Dirt Bike, I love you all, but hey, fucking terrifying, dude. I'm going to have to, though, if Dougie's got one. I'm going to have to, like... Inher- no, you don't. Inherently, I have to get Bro, a dirt bike. Bro, go buy a four-wheeler. No. I'd rather... Don't a ride bike. a dirt bike. You, you're you yeah. not built for a dirt bike, dude. No one is. Dude, I am a dirt bike machine. Oh God, dude. I don't know. I think I've rode them. I've rode a We got to take before. four weeks off piss riffing because you fucking tipped a dirt bike trying to take off. Ah! You're in a full-body cast. How just- bad is it? broken everything how bad is it doc your fucking legs are free health care yeah yeah you're gonna be booked in the hospital for years no dude you get so when i was younger true story because i grew up on a farm like had all that shit my mom was never down for like fast stuff Mm -hmm. never yeah she never wanted us to get dirt bikes fucking 
four wheelers, no. anything. But one day we begged enough, my sister and I, yeah, and my parents went out and purchased us a three wheeler, death machine. Death machine. Death roll. They were like a four wheeler and a dirt bike is unsafe. We're gonna meet in the middle. We're gonna meet in the middle and get something Three that's bikes. gonna kill you at least fat th- the fastest. Oh, oh, too sharp a turn. You just <laughs> blah. Just, you take a little bit too much of an angle. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with off road vehicles, four wheelers have four wheels. Dirt bikes have two, but a three wheeler has three wheels and it is not balanced in oh. any way, shape, or form. It's like you take a turn too fast, <laughs> you are flipping the thing completely <laughs> a thousand times and violently. Like, yeah, there were so many times where I just like casually flipped it slowly <laughs> and I just like tip it back up. Yeah. Uh, uh. Tip it back up and jump back on and go home. Oh. And I wouldn't tell anyone that I flipped it that day because I knew if I told them it was gone. Don't talk. We can't talk about this. with No, me and my sister chill, would be like, you shut chill. the fuck up. You're going to ruin it forever. Yeah, your leg's not broken. Okay. <laughs> Walk it off. Yeah, my sister would get thrown like 40 feet, and I'd go, you got thrown five. I don't know what you're complaining about. You're fine. Ah! Yeah. She'd bounce like four times, and I'd be like, it was barely. (laughs) (laughs) Doing the old fucking wind. wind Yeah, and I'm like, you're good. You literally just tip. You pretty much, it brought you into the ground. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, no. So So anyways, I'm happy your son got a dirt bike. Dirt bikes are sweet. Yeah, they are. That's the... um, those are like the two big week events in my personal life. Yeah. What about you? Uh, it's been a pretty. Uh, I worked all week. Uh, started a new job, so ooh, it's been. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. I went to a so uh, first aid training. This is a pretty funny uh, experience. So I went to first aid training. Um, have you taken first aid lately? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's awful. Like it's, it's like brutal. Yeah, I took this new. You can do like half online and then half in class, so it like lowered it down to one day instead of a two day class. Nice. But uh, I walked in the classroom, and uh, my teacher was just this like f- probably late fifties, early sixties. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice lady. Thinking about it, yeah. Big old fresh pair of uh, new tits. Fake tits. <laughs> Fake old titties. Perfect Dude, fake tits. Low cut shirt too. There's a ghost in the what basement. Is I don't know. The, I bought these light bulbs for two bucks. Yeah, that's why it's fucking going in and out. And our video is just gonna be like, but so, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> we got that shit. We're we're good. We're good. So many headaches before that. We're fine. Yeah, we're this fine. Is nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It could be oh, raining sparks on us right now, and I'm like, we're good. We're fine. Yeah. Um. So I walked into the first aid class. Like I said, big old fake titties, dude. But was she hot. She was okay. She was good. Yeah, sweet. Like she was. A, she was a nice lady. She was a nice lady. Fucking fake titties. But dude, low cut shirt. Think about it. You've taken CPR recently. Think about the she's what you got to do in a CPR class. You don't get fake tits and you don't show. She them is off. sitting over the like mannequins. So you got to do like I just took it. You do. 30 pumps, two breaths, 30 pumps, two breaths. You do that for two minutes. Yeah. That's what the like shock device is telling you to do. Yeah. So she demonstrates for straight two minutes. Oh. And those tits are just. Dude. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm like, real. you did this. Per- you know what profession you have. And you she went- knows what she's doing. And then she goes, all right. It's a little different to do CPR on the children. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you, to do CPR on a baby, you did recently. The back You, you got to hold it. Yeah. And then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and then you got to flip it. But she's doing this. She's holding the baby down here. And pushing her tits out. And she's going, all right, so the baby, you got to do CPR on the baby. Oh. It was so much. How many people were in your class? Was it just like- four dudes? ghost four dudes four like tradesmen dude me Lucky me I, I can say i'm dumb i'm a tradesman i was yeah, sitting yeah, there just collar guys blue collar dude if four blue collar dudes yeah. try and genuinely you could tell because like they hadn't taken first aid in a while they're yeah. trying to pay attention they're like bitch like put them away i if i don't pass this class i'm getting fired on her yeah like her pups were just fully out no and i support because i'm like you do it but it's like if I went to my harness safety class, 
And the dude's just got a giant schlonger, yeah. right? And he's trying to, like, put the harness on, and yeah. it's just getting caught in the oh, fucking... Oh, sorry, let me readjust. Sorry, let me just readjust my huge cock in this harness. My like, penis. Dude, it was nuts. It was awesome, though. It was a great class. I failed the test. I didn't pay attention at all. How do you? <laughs> I know. Just yeah. locked onto those giant yeah. torpedoes. Passed with flying colors. It's Man. literally common sense to do that shit did she like, ever go over top of you and like be like all right does anyone no but she was asking for volunteers oh! and dudes were like punching each I other i would have fucking come in my pants if she was over top of me i was just fucking this scene from uh, uh the sandlot you'd be like i'm choking <laughs> ah, ah. winking at the boys squints. in the class squints no squint <laughs> yeah yeah it's, uh, <laughs> Wendy Prefer, no, yeah, Cindy Preffercorn, yeah, <laughs> Wendy Preffercorn, one or the other. She was well, Preffercorn. You know what we're talking about, but yeah. So that was my uh, that was early in the week. That was like Tuesday. Nice. Um, other than that, a lot of other fucking training stuff. Stupid shit. Same shit. Same shit. Ladder safety. Don't fucking. Don't fall. Don't fall. Um, don't walk under a ladder. Yeah, it's pretty common sense shit. If you fail, you're you're yeah you're fire them fire them immediately get them but, out of here um and then today uh i went like i said played uh so first time in a while doing shotgun golf right everyone starts everyone starts golf. at a different hole yeah so you show up to shotgun golf dude and if you don't know what's happening it's a lot yeah because i didn't realize i signed up for a fucking shotgun <laughs> round and i'm there for like eight o'clock i'm like no one else is here sweet where is everybody? I roll up. There's fucking 47 dudes there. Yeah. Rearing to go. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Which like, am I flying with? Found my shit. Did that. I was with the child. Like I said, yeah. golf with the 12. Go golfing with kids, dude. They make you look so much better. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, dude. On top of the world. This kid's like taking his driver off like the 100 yard. Yes. Par threes. And I'm just like. This fucking idiot. What a loser. What a loser. Yeah. Can't play with the big dog. Oh, as I'm shooting like 50 on a nine. Dude. Dude. Ridiculous. It's so fun though. Um, Golf's fun. But it has been a pretty, pretty lazy week. Uh, Driving here. I took an Uber here because I was at a uh, festival where you drink beer all day. Beer festival. Beer festival, which is Spe- hilarious. Speaking of beer, sorry, can you pass me? Yes, a of beer, course. Beer Speaking festival. of beers, good, good transition. You've been waiting for me to just I mention was, something like, about beer. Oh, I'm so uh, thirsty. Oh, speaking of beer, it's a fucking. It's attached to the the fucking. How long is it gonna take? Oh, there we go. There it is. There. It is, yeah, buddy. So. Beer festival, insane. It's just literally all these like craft breweries, which is like the whitest shit in the world. Dude. It's, it's just like a, a bunch of dudes walking around. Hipsters. Drinking. And pretending like they enjoy the beer. Oh, yeah. I drank 47 cups of beer. Nice. I couldn't tell you the difference between any of it. No. Any of it. It's like wine. It's like wine. It, it, it all tastes the oh, same. Oh, Mr. Millier. Oh, this one has a little more hit. It's... I've we have dr- previously drank seventy. It's getting it's a fishing story. Yeah. There's more cups every time. Yeah, yeah. But it's we've drank so much beer. None of it is. Your, I don't know. Your first two beers, you know what they taste yeah, like. You I might mean, be like, okay, this is fine. But needless to say, went to that. It was a fun time. Um, Uber ride. Uber ride here. Thank you very much. I was trailing off. That's the thirty-eight million beers that I drank before this, but. <laughs> Um, just a podcast where we're asleep. Yeah, just falling asleep drunk the whole time. Just Sorry. Oh, geez, you over scared here. me. Oh, you scared me. My bad. Sorry, I was just trying to sleep over here. But um, rode the Uber here, and the guy was super friendly. Um, yeah. Funniest thing I've heard in a long time. So we live in Kingston, Ontario, which is, we're, dosing our, we're dosing ourselves here. Yeah. We're we'll, dead. We'll bleep that out, no, maybe. I, don't they know. Are, I think they already know we live. Yeah, they know. But um, all thirteen people know. That. All thirteen people. Here. We all know. We, we know all know everyone, everyone yeah, who's yeah. listening to us. But uh, we go t- like I get picked up by this guy, and he's like telling me. We just get talking, and he loved soccer, and he was talking how much he loved to bet on soccer. He's Reasonable a betting man. Betting Sounds man. like a cool guy. I love gambling too. I was like, sweet dude, sweet. Let's bet. That's that, awesome. This ride. Better. I bet you five bucks. You <laughs> yeah. can't get me there in ten yeah, minutes. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how much of a betting man you are. Um. But so he tells me he's like, 
um, him and his neighbor. His neighbor is a super conservative right wing like nut. Beautiful. Literally goes right. to the polling booths to help them like count Pick, ballots and yeah, shit. Yeah. Like bleeds dink. Bleeds. Like insane. So this guy is like I bet him every election nice. that the other side is going to win cuz he's so patriotic about it. Yeah. Not patri- patriotism is not the right word to use there. He's fucking just anal. He's crazy about it. Like he's yeah, like he's... he loves politics so much. Imagine loving politics. Idiots, dude. I don't even know what politics is. I couldn't even define the word. I don't think I think it's fucking I don't know. Something to do with polyamorous guy, relationships yeah, it's it's people who spend money we make yeah but so his ploy is he's like i go to my neighbor and i bet her the opposite side is going to win every election and she takes it every time every time and i'm like you do this every election he's like yep Every time. Easy money. Easy money, dude. He's a pro. He is a professional. He's a hustler. Yeah, and you know this neighbor is like kind of, she's like this fucking idiot. This, I not got from this him. not from this country. He know I know politics I better than him. him. And he's going on Google and just Googling who has won in this region. Let's look at statistics. He's like, Okay, a hundred percent of the time this side wins. I'm betting on it. Yeah. It's good here. money. And We're they're here. like, Again? Like Genius. Funniest thing I've heard all week. I was like, I respect that, dude. Guy's a fucking... He's a... Oh, we had a show. Yeah, we both had separate... Oh, yeah, we had shows. I had a show at... Uh, oh, my God. I So, forget the show, but the burger. I'm going to shout out... Lots of. Lots of burgers. Or lots of food truck in Kingston. I had their lots of burger, smash yeah. burger. I'm new to the smash burger world. Welcome. Oh damn. The problem is my you know what my problem with it was? What? I could have ate fucking six of them because they're so good. Just greasy little sliders. I I, I, I wish you know what? I w- I wouldn't have fucked with fries. I would have got like two more burgers. Yeah. Cause they're so good. Yeah. Like, they're legit the best burgers in town. Yeah. If you're in the area, go check them out. My boy Jack will hook you up. Yeah. And the uh, bar there does good deals with the burgers yes. and chip. The burger and the bar uh, Spearhead has got some great. There's a great, lovely light lager called Decoy. Yeah, it's got the ducks and shit it's on the can. It's got the ducks unlimited Isn't stuff. it a funny name, Decoy, for ducks on the can? I was calling it Decoy. You're calling it Dick Coy? Decoy. Decoy. And it was really trying to be fancier. You're drinking well, no, fucking I was purposely doing it to really fuck with an upset um, Sierra. Sierra, yeah. Oh, she kept yeah. going. She's it's like, decoy. Like, Were you there at the beer fest when the girl was calling it decoy? And I'm like, no, I wasn't there. But that girl is, is the, right. Is the coolest. That's funny. Isn't it funny? Just committing to a bit. I you committed know, it the fucking, all night. Yeah. The whole had, night, you I just fucking... Like, could... Probably like six to eight beers. And she goes, oh, yeah, decoy. You come up behind her and go, it's actually decoy lager. Oh, decoy. And then, then the new server would come up. I'm like, a decoy, please. Uh, decoy. Uh, but yeah, it was a good show. It was fun. Great crowd. Got some yucks. Yucks. Got a few yucks. I was yucking. A few ha-has. A few ha-has. Nice. How was your? Uh, you were in Ottawa. <laughs> it was pretty good. I uh, did it. Or is is the capital crowds? I guess it's all different. I think I'm just like I assume everyone from the capital is just a bunch of fucking nah, dude. It was uh, pussies. It was like an ongoing bit because <laughs> it's like uh, where I did the show. It's literally like the capital of our country, mm-hmm. and it's a bunch of government workers. Nice. And it was like an ongoing bit because there was like so many people who worked in the government. Yeah, yeah. In so it's good. It's good. They, yeah, it was fun. They're as sick of it as we are. Yeah. But it was uh, like super because we've been having wildfires and shit. Oh, yeah. In Canada and stuff. Oh, yeah. And Ottawa was pretty bad. Like Yeah, they're right there. Every fucking interaction I had with everyone that day, though. So smoke. And they everyone smoke would be crazy. talking to you and go. So... Oh, 
Can I get a a Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah. Tim Hortons, whatever. Yeah. Can I get a medium coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I can barely breathe. Is there smell. anything else I can? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta sell it. Do for you to. <laughs> and you're just like. Dude, they're gonna have syrup for fucking this fires. Dude, I'm like, are okay. We've all we're all experiencing the smoke that is currently in the air from the wildfires. Yeah, we get it. We, we get, get it, it, lady. It's bad. We get <sighs> it. Have a good. Ah, try to have a good. <laughs> Shut up. Day. Which, if someone says that, try and have a good day. Oh. Oh, what the fuck are you putting your bad day on me? Shut up. Why are you putting your bad day Why on me? Why even say anything? Why say anything? Try to have a good day. Just try and have a good day. <laughs> Tell that to the little kids li- working in lithium mines. Who are literally breathing in lithium smoke. Central um, Africa. You're getting quality Canadian pine. Yeah. Burnt. What's the problem? What's the problem? I mean, air quality. I get it for people who have like maybe asthma. What's the problem? Go more. Go around more campfires. Th- those people with asthma are going to stay inside anyways. It's yeah. summertime. Yeah, they'll complain about the pollen. What if, the fuck? If not, is the, the smoke problem. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no fires were fucking. It was kind of. It was kind of cool. Like, it looked like a dystopian future when yeah. you walk out, and it was like. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the meme online, and it, all I thought about was um, Blade Runner. Yeah, everything looked like Blade. It Runner. looked like the scene in. Uh, <sighs> A new hope. When yeah. Luke's like looking out at the desert. Uh, yeah, and there's just the sun coming up. Yeah. Like insane. The sun was the same color. It was that bright, crazy orange. Bright red orange. Yeah. Like, yeah. I um did we talk about this on last podcast? Maybe stop me. Did I tell you I called Hawkins? No, you didn't. I don't know, maybe. Did I say this last podcast? Oh, well, we'll probably repeat it. That's fine. I called Hawkins Cheesy's looking for a T-shirt. Yeah, they don't sell them, and they won't even give you one, even if you message. No, find the workers. I, I, I called them. And get in deep. Said, no, find who works at Hawkins and get their employee uniform. I want a sweet one. I even I even went to our one of our sponsors, Ironclad Printing. Ironclad Printing. If you're looking for uh, group T-shirts to be made, stickers, designs, posters, anything, anything to do with anything. that, you can find our friends at Ironclad, Ironclad Printing. Printing. I love how we just do like an impromptu ad anytime we... Ironclad Printing will fulfill all your needs and is has great customer experience uh, service and is bound to leave you satisfied with their products. Leave you saying... Wow. wow. So I got in yeah. touch with them. Yeah. Uh, the, he directed me into a yeah. a different avenue. A loophole of t-shirt related well, because, stuff. Because like the, the, it, 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 I get it's it. It's like they, the underground they, mafia they were, of t-shirts. They can like, get you like, like the exclusive shit. Well, well he's like, we're, they're so busy. They're yeah. so busy. That I can't just make you one stupid Hawkins t-shirt. I was like, I get it, dude. That's Why don't we do our first Piss Riffin shirt is Piss Riffin, but in the Hawkins font. Like so the, in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the bag and everything. Dude, that would be because so... Because we can't get a normal fucking Hawkins that shirt. That would be so... With the cheat, like the bag, but the cheesies in it. Yeah. So like a bag of cheesies, but, but then instead we're... instead of Hawkins, Hawkins Piss Riffin. It says Piss Riffin. That is so sick. Dude, that's a sick tee. Three quarter sleeve. Poli- oh, we were talking about this. Um, Hallis. Yeah, Ryan in Toronto. To fucking- yeah, at yeah, the Horseshoe Tavern. We're gonna go. Ryan uh, Irvin is mega down for that. Yeah, let's go. It's on the eighth. It's the day after my birthday. Yeah, let's do it. I want to go. So I'm in. I'm yeah. fucking there. No, I'm in too. I'm pulling my card. My yeah. card where I can do whatever I want. Yeah. For one night, and yeah. that's that night. Star Rider. We should dress up like Templars. Yeah, dude. With the like, literally get night the hoods, face swords, a metal face shield. Yeah. In the mosh pit, just fucking slamming kids in a suit of armor. 
I think we're gonna have to get like we're gonna have to get on the tickets pretty. They're I, gonna sell out pretty quick. Have to. Yeah. We can't be the only cool people. There's yeah. a lot of other. I, there was. I was wearing the Hallis T-shirt. Yeah. Um, which, if you don't know how, search them up. Great band. Unbelievable. But wearing the Hallis T-shirt in uh, the weed store the other day, and there's probably like a like 19 year old girl. Yeah. Selling me the weed, and she was like, "Hallis, I love that band." Nice. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, you should go to Horseshoe Tavern." They're playing. Yeah, I said that. Fuck, why? That's one less ticket for us to. Yeah, go I know. I should. She said, ain't going. Shut up! You don't know who they are, bitch. You don't know music. You don't know music. You don't listen to them. Back in my day, we. She's like, "Aren't you like twenty six? I'm like, "No." <laughs> Shut up! Fuck you. Yeah, Hallis. Mm-hmm. Hallis is so good. Yeah, they're awesome. Go listen to some of their stuff. Please list H A L L A S P A R T Y. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, great band. But um, yeah, we were also talking about it earlier because it's uh. Now you probably read into it more because you always read into articles. I don't. I skim. I look I don't at pictures. I look at pictures. I only read the ones with pictures. Yeah, the, I honestly do that. <laughs> I do that sometimes. There's no pic. I'm um, not in. But like, I'll genuinely just see a headline, and then I will. That's like my tragic flaw: is I'll see a headline, and then I'll use that headline I in conversation gospel. later. Mm-hmm. And someone's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And I'm like, "You know that thing? Like, my what? You know that one story I saw on Reddit that one time? Like, yeah, um, but." This is pretty good because I read I read a little bit into it, but the it's all over the internet. Releasing the fucking UFO files, dude. yeah, like confirmed straight up. Guys, like the one guy was straight up like we're not alone. Yeah, no, we've been collecting for a while now. Yeah, um, and then the girl like or the guy or whoever's doing the interview is like, so is there like you know like is there extraterrestrial life? And he goes, well, you know. At crash sites, you always find pilots, or sometimes you find pilots. So yes, we do have bodies. Yeah, sick. But the, Dude, I mean, come on. Then and then, Where'd while this was being at? released, this is when. So this is like my kind of conspiracy behind it. Yeah. We blew up another pipeline. What? What if the fucking fires were a way to block out the sky briefly, so that. Aliens could fly over. Fly over. But why would they release that there is actually aliens? I don't know. That was a dumb thing. And then block out the sky so, so we can't see the aliens. I just hope... Why wouldn't they just let the aliens... They would... Yeah, but... I just hope... It that, is a good conspiracy. I like it. I just hope that they're, like, n- not dicks. I hope not, but I feel like they're going to have a superiority... Superior... To whatever the word like is. complex? About, yeah. I, like, they're going to... They wouldn't. You're so advanced. Yes, because I maybe feel like, like the more like, in, the more intelligent someone is, the more accepting. Yeah, they're like they're they're like because yeah. you eventually like get sure like in your juvenile state of being like a superior thing, you'd be like ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm a teenage the alien. But then but then you got to appreciate like, oh man, imagine getting an alien on the pod. Hi, uh, he's gonna be on Joe Rogan. Welcome first. back to Piss Riff, and uh, we have a uh, Gloop Glorp here with you. Hey, Gloopblorp, what's your uh, opinion on fucking zoos? <laughs> like, I don't meaner, even know. Meaner, meaner, me, 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 me. <laughs> they have to speak English. Do you think they would learn our language? Have to. They'd have to. Well, I don't know, dude. I'd say English. They'd know English or it'd be like a real quiet interview where they just talk to our brains. But I think they're smart enough to realize that like we're, I think we have talked about this previously, that it was like, they're smart enough to realize that we're dumb Mm -hmm. and they would learn our language and learn our ways and learn like proper like ways to greet us. And like, they'd be like, this is the best way to do it. And they'd plan all this shit and they'd land down and they'd be like, Hello, humans. We are here. Like we e- immediately <laughs> fucking throw nukes at them because we're idiots. Like I, I, I hope it's not that. I just hope I hope not either. But I'd like it to be like kind of a cool. 
it'd be like a cool like fist bump meeting where they like you hope there's like a cool handshake go, all right let's give them some cool tech Meemar, meemar. Meemar, and they build meem- us a cool ship maybe teach us some cool stuff with but then who gets the cool tech what country in the world gets the cool tech See, i think it would be good if they played mediator so they are like the new U- UN in yeah, the like, scenario. Okay, so now you know that there's more out But here. now we're just enslaved by this fucking alien race. Not enslaved. How long? 50 years down the road. They're like, you guys keep operating as normal. And then 10 years down the road, they go, so that whole uh, me more, me, me, me. You translate it. It's like me more, me, 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 me. So that wood stuff you have is pretty cool. And you're like, yeah, it is. But like we use it. And they'd be like. Me more, me, me, me. That's ours. We're going to take that now. I, I And then 10 years after that, me more, me, me, me. Oh. That water you have is pretty cool. As long as they don't take our Jordans. Just Air Jordans for everyone? Yeah, Air Jordans. Just everyone has what's Air the most, Jordans? What's the, most valuable, what's the most valuable resource on planet Earth? They go, wow, Air. shoes. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We trick shoes. them. Shoes. Secretly, all this materialism dude, and shit Jordan's is just a long game long for aliens, muscle. dude. Uh, Gucci? We we would like all of your Gucci bags we right want now. The Kardashians. We want them, them now. They Take are your them. most valuable resource. Oh, Kim K banging an alien video. Honestly, that's the only Move over Ray J. Dude, Kim K with like eight alien dicks instead of one, like from the video, Whew. from the recent kid that saw one crash in their backyard in uh, Las Vegas, yeah. if the aliens are as tall as he says they are, the NBA is in trouble because they're like eight to nine footers. And But do you really think aliens would come to the earth and then rip like sports and shit? Like, I feel like they're so smart. They directly try to take over politics and shit. I don't know. Why, why politics? I think like... Maybe it's yeah. more fun. Yeah, he comes down and he's like, like politics. What a waste! And then he sees like LeBron James dunking, and he's like, he do, he just wants to do like a through the fucking through the legs dunk. Fuck, yeah. dude. Aliens could though like suck the ball into like their cavity, and then just like I just want them to be cool. Bleh. I don't want them to yeah. be dicks. Yeah, I don't want to fucking have ones that explode my head. I don't want to have ones that are like killing us. I don't want to have ones that are like. I just want aliens to be like very cool. Yeah, just chill and just just have a beer with us, like space beer. I want to. I, I, then then imagine like you just about like to a, say I want a space beer. Yes, because that's awesome. I want a space. I beer want too. a space beer so. I want a space beer bad. so bad, dude. And Cheers what to that space, space, space beer. Space beer. <laughs> I want to try space drugs. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. Like, That would be the first thing I'd ask them. How do you guys get fucked up? Yeah. What do you guys do for fun? What do you guys do for fun? Like, We, uh, and they'd be like, oh, there's glib globs on our planet. We uh, shuffle glib glob. And we're like, well, all right. Meet more, meet, meet, meet. Frisbee. We have glib glob in the bathroom, but don't tell the boss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's play. Or yeah. like, I just, I mean, it. Can't, okay, so. If we've been like in contact with them for fucking X years, yeah, they can't be that bad because no. if they were bad, they would have already fucking torched us. True, but no. if they're crashing their ships regularly in our planet, Maybe they're all drunk. They could be on too much glorb glorb. Yeah. Space to his space beers, man. Yeah, yeah. Hit up Earth. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Throw the empties out, man. Throw the empties. They go to Vegas. And they're just partying, and then they go crash their ship. On All the of this out. mysterious space metal that they're finding Near is just Vegas. aluminum cans that they're tossing oh, out on the road. Fuck. An empty. Get it out of the car, man. <laughs> I don't know. I I think if it's but the it is cool. I mean, all seriousness. If it is. Hey, dude, what the fuck? It's aliens, bro. It's aliens. We're talking about them, and they're making it happen. Ah, no, I want to... I would I would love the opportunity to, like, just hang out. Yeah. I think that it would be a cool thing. I think it would be a great learning experience. It would, because you could learn a lot of stuff humbling. from each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be humbling for... I, I, I just... Because it... And, and this is the misconception is, is a lot of people think, um, oh, well, they're going to be 
super hyper advanced no. if they've got to get here. Well, maybe they just had something on their planet that yeah. was better than everything. Dude, we, we got... We're about to start just what shooting if rockets. Like, what if they're just like... Like, if you thought, like, the Everglade guys ride around in wind boats... Yeah. Just shooting alligators. What if they're just those guys in space? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just tinkering with fucking spaceships. <laughs> Slamming beers. You said there was gators in here, Pa. We're almost there. <laughs> Live for a thousand years. I don't... <laughs> That's why they're not releasing the ships is because they're so low tech. It's it's just like the Rick and Morty shit. Yeah. It's just like garbage cans with fucking sweet... Yeah rims <laughs> with a just shiny chrome exterior like I, I just want it to be good yeah i don't need it i i, I would say that there it's like i just hope the aliens are cool bros i mean and the kid that saw them in vegas the only thing he said was um when he first saw them he froze he was because sh- it would be like what is this video i need to watch this it's if i show you like We'll show you. Gonna I'll go show, crazy. I'll show, I can show you after the pod, but I can show you. On what the, the fuck is up with this light, man? It's ongoing. It's terrifying me. Uh, what is happening? I can really put a new fucking light bulb in it. The truth is out there. Molder, I just hope that it just sparks another Californication season. Yeah. Um, Wait, like people just really love the red hot chili peppers again? Well,. That and David Duchovny's hit TV I'm show. I'm going to give you the recipe for the flu bomb. So the flu bomb. The flu bomb. Used... <laughs> Sorry. The flu bomb. Alien. What did that say? The flu bomb. Alien in the backyard. <laughs> We're, you're watching our reaction to this. Catches this. Something flashing low in the sky. emergency. And you can. Huh? And they have a video. In their no, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Everyone thought a shooting star. Then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, it's more than an hour after that bright light. Officers meeting up with the caller and his family. What did you see? It was like a... Like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long testing top. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in your backyard? Or? They see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Got... Police walk into the backyard to investigate, it, but Mer- Metro blacked America out great. that part of the video because it's considered private no, it property. Not a mag- oh. They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yeah. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating further. Prank. That investigation turning up no concrete answers right. as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If those if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us. All right, deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's just a random. See, now we're into the weird territory of just random videos that people have made. No, oh, that's from the movie Signs. <laughs> yeah, I just that's... hope they're not that bad guys like i don't want i don't need it yeah and it's so funny because it's now this is how you know aliens are real because usually when it's an alien crash you got some redneck motherfucker they were just all them in the field right over there they probe me so hard. Yeah, and that's like just a random fucking the dad was in like Full prayer. Uh, Garby's like I. I see big. Something. Eight, uh, I saw it. In, I saw uh, eight uh, foot. Like he's like, why the fuck? He's not trying to hunt for fame on the I news. Saying, I, I, I'm in my bathroom. I, I just. I uh, take shit and alien come it, down. It was like crazy. Yeah, no one. They're not hunting for like. No, I just hope it's good. I hope this is not the start of bad. Yeah. 
Like, I hope they don't just, like, activate a black hole on planet Earth while we're doing this podcast. And it's like... We go to get out of this basement and secretly we're just in, like, a... a big ship. Yeah, they're like, hey, you guys were fucking talking shit about yeah, us? The basement's extraordinarily clean. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. We have a whole arsenal in here, though, but we don't have ammunition. <laughs> Yeah, get sucked in. Fuck, dude. Yeah, no, like that group of people who are in that, and now that could be a prank. That could be people it's making. It's not a prank. This is my like, the uh, brain of growing up in the fucking age of the internet. It's like you can stage so much shit. So I'm just playing devil's advocate I know. here. It's br- it's not. And they could have used that. They know that again. To they're like, you know what you always see when aliens crash. White trash motherfuckers. They're not thinking that. We're going to throw a, a curveball. What if a fully immigrant family finds them? That's going to throw these ufologists like 10 off. 10 foot tall beings, man. Dude, that w- that's insane. Like, that's hilarious. That's Why didn't you go back and offer them help? The guy said in the video, you heard him. He's like, don't call me. Like, don't call me. But that's why I'm like, would a cop, would a cop say that? I don't He know. would if he was, like, nervous. Yeah. Scared. Maybe it was just like me. I'd say And he that. repeated like fucking seven times though. He's like, oh no, I just want to let you know. We've already seen lights in the sky. We've seen it. Yeah. So We've I'm like. seen it. That's just my like internet brain is ticking. It's probably a fucking meteor. And they're it, probably just a bunch of really tall dudes. Yeah. Lifting stairs. It's probably another train crash. Like. Oh. And they're just covering it up. Yeah. They're like, have you heard about the aliens? Like. Come to the planet. I don't know, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a firm believer. I believe the truth is out there. The truth is out there. We need David Duchovny. David Duchovny, Mulder, please. Mulder and Scully. Mulder and Scully, we need you more than ever. Every time I think of them, I think of The Simpsons when he flips open his his like Mulder badge, yeah. and it's just a picture of him like in a speedo or something, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. posing nude or something yeah. on the ground. Such a great. That's funny. I, I went on a renaissance and started watching old X Files. Nice. Some of them are really fucking good. They're actually dude. really good, dude. The first, the whole first season is awesome, amazing. Have you seen the Outer Limits? I don't think so. Oof, you no. like that one too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Outer Limits was uh, a similar time frame, maybe a little bit later, definitely later than the X Files. Yeah. But the Outer Limits was. I'll have another one too. We did the most. Each episode was a different story, and it would be like alternative universes and planets. Yeah, and it would be like a. I don't know if if you'd call it a horror show. It no. was more suspense yeah. and not always like scary. Um, I want to say. It's more suspense than scary. Yeah. Wait, is that the same thing? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's... it's it. Uh, is suspense and scary the same thing? I don't know. No, suspense is like building. <gasps> yeah, it's building. And then scary is like... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly think it, uh, it, it was it was equally as great as nice. X-Files. Yeah, I'll watch that. No, Please X-Files is by. just... I mean, I have uh, been like do it, watching it at like... 12 o'clock at night when I'm falling asleep. So it's best like, time. I watch the first half of the episode and I'm like, this is so great. And then I fall asleep and I completely miss. But like the, the episodes that I have like tuned in, dude, crush through the whole thing, man. It'll, yeah. Um, I just watched the, I think his name, it's the tombs is his last name. Do you remember that Richard? I think it's Richard tombs. The premise of the episode, he's this guy and he's like this like creature. Oh yeah, yeah. Is he, he is he, he in the well or something? Or yeah, and he, he like the... eats roadkill. Yeah, and he's just this like sl- he's slimy, and it's just like that whole episode is amazing. It's actually really well done. It's so well done, dude. They have mo- There's a movie too. That yeah, there's out. like three fucking. Yeah, three... They just did a movie not too long ago. Yeah, and they have a, the original because she doesn't believe. Scully doesn't believe. No, she she. Uh, or she's open to the but, yeah she, open to it she is the like devil's advocate at all points she, she's like because remember in the first she, she has she has paired up with Mulder and she's like what did he do yeah what what department 
What? You don't know about these vials? Yeah. But that's the extra. It's mostly like there's this miraculous thing that's happening, but then there's something else that's happening. There's science behind they can, That they can, is actually, yeah, science. that she can prove that this thing was science, but there is an overarching has she been paranormal a, thing like have you watched up to have you seen her get abducted yet yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the chip put in her like yeah. the the marking yeah. yeah fuck i've seen uh yeah okay so you're you're, you're deep you're yeah. deep yeah it's uh oh my god this is like a maybe i bought a buggy light i think you you lied and you said you replaced them and you just t- you did like the tink, tink. flick test yeah the flick test and it came back on and you went good enough I potted my plants today. Yeah. Oh my god! You know what I did? What? I so I bought one of those big, bulky yeah. um, top mix yeah. soils. You planted some weed plants I today. Some weed plants today, which yeah. is fucking cool as shit. But I fucking think pulling out the smaller bags. Yeah. Oh my Blew your elbow, shoulder! I have like I have, my elbow is like te- you know tennis elbow yeah. where it just fucking kills. Yeah. And I've had like two beer, and I still can feel it. That's that's rough. It sucks. You gotta have more. <laughs> man. I I went. I noticed it earlier this afternoon when I was playing uh, video games. Yeah. I finished, and I was going up the stairs, and I grabbed the rail, and I went. What? <sighs> <sighs> and you were like, that was from up uh, potting, growing some plants? marrow. Yeah, potting. And I'm like, I'm like. And they say growing plants is an easy thing. It's not. It's. It is not. I'm worried Brother. about though. I, I was going to ask you to, about it, but um. So I have one pot that's a little small. It's probably yep. like twelve inches, just like this deep, yep. like this. Yeah, not big. Mm-hmm. Will that get fucked up? Will root rot and shit happen? It may s- get root bound, which is not bad, uh, right? Which is, it's not good. It's not good because it's like a plant will only grow to like the size of pot that you give it would still flower though yes but you're just not going to get as much as you could from that plant which is i'm fine okay so i'm fine with that yeah okay every time i have a good idea it just comes on yeah it's like we've installed this as like a off when we say something funny i just take watch for the oh i thought it was gonna go again no we Um, say something dumb off you're off boys you're off so yeah, no, I repot, but I really fucked my elbow up. That's some. That's the oldest shit I've heard you say, brother. Man, I'm hurt. I I repotted some land today. <laughs> I I use the wheelbarrow and everything, and I just. Dude, I sometimes reach for things though, and I just tense up. overextend, and then you like get that sharp yeah. like. <sighs> oh man, the center of my back lately. This is great pod content. Yeah. Complaining about how uh, our muscles hurt. We're out of shape. Dude, fuck. <laughs> I eat and live a terrible lifestyle. I cramp up when I poo. Yeah. Sometimes when I poo really hard, my back cramps when I'm wiping my ass. Like uh, pee pee poo poo pee 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 poo poo. Pee 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 poo poo. Poo poo pee poo yeah. poo 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 poo. Which is not it. I'm not lying. Sometimes my back cramps when I'm. Yeah. I'm there. You're off. It's a different fucking light, dude. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is funny. These are the best lights I've ever bought in my and life. And you literally, you start this pod by going, and don't worry, brother. I just changed the I light. I just changed every light in here. The problem was, was, okay, so when I went to buy the light bulbs, I was in the light bulb section. And they have, so these are You went to like Home Depot or somewhere? I went to Giant Tiger. Oh, they have a light bulb section? Well, they Tiger? have a small light section. Nice. But the, these are meant for the pot, like the, the different, the cones. Yeah. But they wanted like 10 bucks for two. You probably should have paid the 10 bucks for two. Yeah, I'm going to. You probably no, should have paid the $10 no, for two. I'm going to go back tomorrow. Because, yeah, tomorrow. I was going to say, or you're going to have randomly dropping out lights like this. <laughs> It looked so good. So then I bought the bo- the case. There was two dollar ones, two bucks. Yeah, this is what two bucks get you. Yeah. So, uh, pod uh, everyone listening. Moral of the story: Just go spend the fucking money. Spend the extra two dollars on lights. Because now I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah. 
and buy more. Yeah. Spend more time out when yeah. they wanted to. It's another trip to the store. I literally felt like I accomplished something. Yeah. Today. I even fixed the light on the f- way down the hold stairs. Hold up. Hold up. You accomplished something. I put lights in. You tried. It's working 90% of the time. If that one's off, this one's on. If this one's on. Has that been going out behind me every time? It's that been, it, well, it's been going out. I think it went out. We can review the tape. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it back on the tape. At least once. Prior. Interesting. Because I hear it. It goes like... Tick, tick. It makes a noise every time it dies. And you're like, fuck. Maybe they're like energy saving ones. This has just been riddled with technical errors from the start, dude. We're... Flying by the seat of our pants every episode, and it's catching up to us. This one almost caught up. And to I, us. I literally, I, I went out of my, I cleaned up the basement. I know we, we had every parameter to do well, and everything else is against us. But we prevailed. Dude. We prevailed. We rose. To we the, fucking prevailed. Like flew to the occasion. Yeah, Mother Nature's trying to bring us down. Cheers, yeah. dog. Cheers to being uh, antiquated. Yeah, whatever that word means. I don't think that's the right use of it. You're like, I actually don't know. I what don't it know is. what it means either. I sometimes say word. It knows. No, antiquated. Antiquated. Antiquated is the word of the day. That's it. Yeah. This is almost like a bit. It's hilarious. It just keeps fucking happening, and it's going to happen the whole episode. Lights out. Lights out. The whole episode, it's going to be fucking lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. If you're listening to the audio of this, the whole fucking episode, we have did this. Random lights have been dying. This is the brightest room in our house. This is so bright when they're all on. I, I legit... like. I w- the camera can't see it, but I have Christmas lights plugged in. I have, I have, I'm using Christmas lights as an extension cord for my cell phone charger. <laughs> it's just a cool extension. I thought cord. it was for lighting it, it, the basement. It helps. No, it's not. You use that as an extension yeah, cord. An ex- see, you can see my phone because it's currently all bunched. In one spot. So there's no light being thrown around. No, it's... You're just... really just using... And you could plug the cord. It's a foot from the plug-in. But it doesn't reach the, the where I'm at. The Hold computer. on. Let's just do a quick real-time if Pat's going to charge his phone. Yeah, bring me the charger. Here, brother. I brought uh, your phone charger for you. <laughs> pass me the charger. Hold on. Let me pass you your phone charger. It's it's festive. Look at this. Dude, it worked. That fucking block is hot. Holy. No, it's not. What was that? What did you think was hot? Maybe my leg. Dude, look at this extension cord. Get at me. Yeah. You don't... This is... This is we can place it like here and maybe it will add additional light to the shot. It's, it's like I'm charging 700 phones at the same yeah. time. I think you just have to keep that now for the rest of the- <laughs> Our hydro bill is going to be a fucking billion. You're dollars. yeah, you're literally wasting and the open signs on. It's not even in view. You're literally wasting $8 of hydro per percent you get on your phone. It's the most <laughs> like it first first world way to charge your phone oh, I've having, ever seen. Having power is sweet. I don't have to worry about a single thing. I have hot water. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> a fucking Christmas string of lights to charge your phone. Get honestly, it, it's cool. People, uh, it's I, I've been at people say that's cool. I wouldn't recommend that to any. If someone went, I need to extend. An outlet in my house. You can got an extension cord I can borrow? Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got Christmas lights you can use. Yeah. Do you have an extension cord I can borrow? Bro, I, I got just a thing. I, th- I thought it was pretty ingenious. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to fucking crud tonight. Crud? Take a poo. Oh, dude. I'm That egg salad. The Costco egg salad is. Chicken salad. No. It's the chicken salad, dude. It f- It's so good. Yeah, stop eating it. Yeah, I know. It's killing you. It's killing you from the inside, brother. It literally is. This is a chicken salad intervention. And I had eggs, you got to stop eggs and sausages for breakfast. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you plan to do a podcast at night and then eat 
boil my body all day. The absolute no. worst oh. shit you can all day. Just a mute. Just so me and you have to sit in a closed basement hey, for smell this an hour straight and talk. And I'm I'm talking, so I'm breathing a lot. I have gla- I have safety glasses on in case I get pink. I noticed right. you were wearing your work safety glasses today. Because you're shitting your pants all the time, and you needed fucking. I'm on the job. Yeah, it need to. It, you need to wear like certified safety glasses. I'm on the job, Luke. I'm on the job right now. Oh man! You just farted when I did that. No, noise, I didn't. didn't you? I didn't. I, I I didn't. I have to pee too. I gotta pee. Go pee. That's I'm okay. A pee. That's a piss break. What do we have for time? An hour and nine. Oh no! Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What's this? Your little bear. I was hoping to have that in the shot, okay? Oh, do you? No, not actually. I don't think we can that. add it in. Uh, I just had to move it away from the TV because it was painful. Wait. That is ripping that piss. You know what the best part of my day is tomorrow? What? Christy has to wake up with Dougie tomorrow. Not you. Musiki, Becky just sent me a. Were they rocking? Uh, some dude's playing a uh, saxophone. That's fucking sick. Is it like uh, I saw a lot of bands today? You okay? Yeah, you were at the, the beer fest. Yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, I went to a festival of beer. Lots of music. Yeah, but there was a band that finished, and there was like 13, 14 people in that band. Whoa, dude. They had a dude for sax. They had a dude Big for band. chimes. They had a, but it's like, how do they split the pay? Dude, I make, how much money have you made in the past two years from doing comedy? 60 bucks. I'm negative money. Yeah, we're negative. It's Gas. Definitely. Yeah, okay. everything included. Negative. Food, drinking, drinks. I'm jinx, way out. Dude, Cheers. way out. Way out. So as a musician, it's like you're hustling to get these gigs and shit. And you get like a hundred dollar payout. For fifteen people. You gotta split that between fifteen fucking people. Well, I paid for my fries. Alright, I got half my drink tonight. Oh man. Maybe they charge Wild. maybe they do it I don't know. Do you think it's more money to book them because there's more people? Are they good? They're decent. I think it's based on skill, isn't it? You'd think. They could spend or more. show quality. Yeah. Or you're just accepting that like you make less money because you love all those people. But like. Here's $350 each, guys. Yeah. We put it all on a Tim's card. <laughs> here's here's Tim. It's actually in Tim Horton's rewards. Uh, we took all the money points. that we earned and spent it on Tim Horton's. On points. So we converted it to points. <laughs> That was a good choice. I don't Great know. executive decision, Dave. <laughs> they Yeah. The show the the organizers of the show are like, I know you have a thirty piece band, but yeah. I cannot pay you guys. But I can't pay you three thousand dollars. I have to give you like hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, you and, all requested a uh, hundred dollars each. Maybe they just get drink tickets. Wait, there was no tickets you said, it was just cups? No, they did drink tickets, but it was like you had a cup, and I talked to some of them. They didn't get drink tickets. They didn't. They got paid to do it. Ooh. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but... I just... I, my, my point is, the band... You don't need that many people. That's a lot oh, of people in a band. That's a bit brash. It's a big brash. Maybe that's a lot of people that were... Using words tonight, brother. They weren't good enough 
to be in one band, like a small band, so yeah. they all come together. It's like, like six mediocre bands that slam band, together. Yeah. yeah, to make one really big mediocre It's like band. the uh, Traveling Mulberries. Yeah, they just fucking bought... They're the the our town's ooh, version ooh. like i'm about it i'm well i'm not too many too many instruments is it's too much shit dude i'm i'm not lying <laughs> you because like it's like too because you're like the guy rips a guitar solo and you're like that was that was great dude that was the awesome next guy swipes up his machine and then the next guy hits a keyboard solo Spin and you're like solo like dude and it gets to that it's like and now on the xylophone Michelle. Imagine having to have ding 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 ding. Oh, the band meetings and have if you're the like lead of the band and you gotta like get mad at fourteen people. Yeah, be like Tony, you were late on this. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, what did I say about that deodorant on stage? Yeah, Richard, and like it's like a forty minute fucking debriefing by the end. You're like. Your voice is gone. I'm like, so fucking mad. I'm so fucking mad at you right now. You don't even know. You dropped your drumstick during my guitar solo. Yeah. All right. It was my fifth guitar solo of the song, and you totally disrespected me. I think me. That, 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 that would be the worst. Yeah, it'd be awful. I could not operate with that. Ugh. Band practice? <sighs> Who can meet up for this? Try coordinating 15 adults. We can't coordinate four. Four. Four adults on a fucking Sunday. Wait. We'll just quickly. (laughs) (laughs) Cheers, Cheers. Pat. That was great. As always, so good to see you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on Piss Riffing. Cheers. 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 Um, Cheers. Cheers. No, Pat. Cheers. Cheers. Everybody cheers.